Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to continue our look at Wave 2 of the Saga Legends line from Hasbro and in this review we're going to take a look at this guy. This is of course the TIE Fighter Pilot and let me tell you I absolutely love this figure. Now I know I've said in previous reviews that the Saga Legends line is really a nostalgic feeling uh, toy collection um, but this really in many ways epitomises um, nostalgia. Uh, for me personally, I was a huge fan of the original vintage Kenner and Power of the Force uh, TIE Fighter pilot figures from obviously the uh, 70s and 80s and the early 90s. And this particular figure is a very nice throwback to those particular figures. You know, it has a very vintage retro feel to it, and the animated look from Star Wars Rebels really works well on the Imperial troops. So I'm a huge fan of this figure, and I think after this review, you guys will be too. Now, before I begin this review, as always, I want to give you a look at the packaging that he comes in. And once again, we get the really cool and compact Star Wars Rebels packaging design. Now, you will notice one thing uh, a little different between this particular packaging and the packaging that I gave you a look at for the ATDP driver. And that's the Star Wars Rebels sticker on the front. Now, not only that, but on the back of the box, we have a little bit of a, a different layout. And that's obviously due to the countries that these figures have been sold in. And again, I'll uh, discuss that in just a little bit. But obviously with the Star Wars Rebels packaging, we have a very cool design. We've got the Stormtrooper in the background, the Rebels logo at the top, and a really cool image of the TIE Fighter Pilot in the bottom corner. On the back of the card, we have another image of the TIE Pilot, as well as a description of the character, and some other figures available in the Saga Legends line. Now once again, Saga Legends is a blend of movie and saga figures, and Star Wars Rebels characters as well and in this particular wave we get some characters from the Clone Wars which is really really cool as you can see we've got the Jedi Temple Guard uh, he'll be getting a review very soon Plo Koon and Command Degree and obviously the ATDP driver we give you a look at in our last review now as I said the packaging design uh, in terms of the card back is a little bit different with uh, these two figures that I've recently reviewed as you can see, this is multilingual and the layout to the card is a little bit different. That's because this is a UK release and this is, or a European release, should I say, and this is a US release. Um, I purchased these from staractionfigures.co.uk and I'm assuming that they were imported from the States because obviously you don't have all the different European languages on the back. Now, as I mentioned, staractionfigures.co.uk, as always, if you want to purchase this particular figure for yourself, Check out the link down below in the video description, which will take you to a page where you can do so. So that's the packaging for this guy. And before I begin the review on the figure, I know that a lot of you guys are going to ask, does this figure fit inside a TIE Fighter cockpit? Your question is about to be answered. Here we have the TIE Advanced prototype. Now the cockpit for most of these TIE Fighters is practically the same, once you can get into them. There we go, <laughs> that took some work. The answer, ladies and gentlemen, is yes. The TIE Fighter pilot can indeed be seated inside a TIE Fighter. So, uh, I hope that answers your questions. Once again, most of the TIE Fighter cockpits are around the same size. So if he fits in there, he'll fit in everywhere. Now let's take a look at this awesome figure. And here he is. As I said, I'm a huge, huge fan of this guy. He screams nostalgia to me. And as always, I'm a huge fan of Imperial Troopers. Now, one thing I really want to emphasize is how much the helmet on this guy looks like the CGI model used in the show. He looks really, really cool and is a faithful representation of the character seen on screen. So that's an instant winner in my book. Um, one other thing to point out about this guy is the fact that the paint applications are nice and crisp. In previous Saga Legends figures, you know, Hasbro have gotten a little bit sloppy with the paint. With this guy, that's not an issue. We've got really cool Imperial Cog emblems on the helmet. We've got the Imperial Cogs on the shoulder. And obviously all the buttons and switches on the chest apparatus as well. As you can see in terms of accessories, the TIE Fighter Pilot does come with an E11 blaster rifle. He holds that really well. Sadly, there's no holster for it, but it's not a major issue. 
Um, one other drawback to this particular figure, and it's not a major deal breaker, but it would have been nice if it didn't happen, is the fact that when you try to turn the head, it only goes so far, and that's obviously due to the uh, breathing apparatus that's attached to the helmet and the chest box on the front of the figure. Now the chest box itself isn't removable and unlike previous figures, the tubes that attach to the helmet can't be removed either. So we're stuck with this sort of static movement in the head, you know, for which for a figure with only five points of articulation as it is, isn't so great, you know. Uh, it basically downgrades this figure to a four point of articulation figure, which Again, it's never much of an issue for me as long as the sculpts are good, but obviously for many people it will probably put them off. In terms of articulation on the rest of the figure, he does feature the usual swivel shoulders and swivel hips, and obviously he's got that movement in the head as well, albeit a very small range of movement. In terms of overall sculpt, though, as I said, this guy, absolutely flawless. Really, really love this figure, and if I was still army building, I'd definitely be picking up a few of these. But uh, I'm trying to limit myself to one of each figure from now on. Um, obviously Star Wars collecting is no longer a cheap hobby, so uh, I don't tend to pick up more than one version of the same figure. The ATDP driver was an exception because I wanted to show you guys sort of how those guys fit inside the cockpit and they are really cool looking figures. But for the rest of them, I'll just stick to the one. But this is a highly recommended figure. I love the design on this guy, love the sculpt, love the detail. But what I don't love is the printed serial number on the back of the figure. What is going on, Hasbro? Really, what is going on? Stop doing this. Um, Hasbro have pulled off a really ingenious way, in many ways, of printing the serial number onto the Jedi Temple Guard figure. And I'll show you that in a future review. But, you know, this needs to stop. Um, it's glaring. It looks a mess. Uh, just get rid of it, Hasbro, please. I'm begging you. It really takes away from the figure. Other than that, a great, great figure nonetheless. You've got the pouches sculpted on the legs. You've got the really cool boots. Just fantastic. Awesome looking TIE fighter pilot figure. And definitely a worthy addition to your Imperial ranks. So what are you waiting for? Go out and grab one of these figures. So I really hope you've enjoyed having a look at the TIE pilot from the Saga Legends line from Hasbro. Once again, an awesome figure, and I'll be back to give you a look at some more from this line in my next review. We'll be taking a look at that very cool Jedi Temple Guard in my next video, and then we'll be moving on to some Mission Series 2 packs. So stay tuned for all of those, and until next time, as always, keep collecting, and may the Force be with you.